Hello, good morning everybody. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Dodi and today I'm going to explain a little bit about simple past tense which is one of the grammars that we have to master. The reason why we have to master simple past tense is because we almost use this kind of sentence in our daily communication. So what is simple past tense? Let me write it for you. Simple past tense. Okay, can you read that? Okay. Simple past tense is a sentence formula that is used to express ideas or something or anything that happened in the past. So uh, we can talk about something that happened yesterday and then last night, last week. Several minutes ago, and uh, this morning, let's say last year, yeah, everything that happened in the past. So we have to use this formula of sentence, which is simple past tense. Now, uh, how can we use simple past tense? In simple past tense, we have two kinds of uh, formula. The first formula is called to be formula. To be formula. And the second formula is called verb formula. In to be formula, now, uh, in simple present tense, we know that we have um, am, is, are. But in simple past tense, we have only two kinds of to be, were, and was. Was is used for I, she, he, and also it. While were is used for we, you, and they. Let's say, I was in the toilet several minutes ago, or I was in my girlfriend's house last night. I was in Chicago last week. She was in Surabaya last week. She was diligent. Okay, let's say, what else? Ah, let's say, the one using word. They were in the hospital two days ago. Okay, now we focus on the second formula that is called verb formula. This is also not complicated. This is so easy. In the verb formula, the very first thing that we have to know is that we have to be able to differentiate between verb 1, verb 2, and verb 3. Talking about verb 1, verb 2, and verb 3, in English, we have regular verb, like regular verb, and irregular verb, and irregular verb. Okay, verb 1, verb 2, verb 3. Okay, in irregular verb, we also have verb 1, verb 2, and verb 3. Okay, let me give you the examples of uh, the regular verbs. Let's say walk. Become walk in verb 2 and also verb 3. Walk. We add ed. D or ed in the end of the, in the, end of the word. And then uh, the example of the regular verb, read, 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 and track. Another example of regular verb such as design, design, designed, and 
and decided. An example of the regular verb might be write, wrote, and written. Okay. So we have to be able to differentiate between verb 1, verb 2, and verb 3 in both regular and irregular verb. Now, in a simple past tense, we have to focus on verb 2 if we would like to make the positive statement. The positive statement. Remember, if we would like to make a positive statement in simple past tense by using verb, we have to focus on verb 2. We use verb 2 only. But if we would like, if we would like to make the negative and also the interrogative sentence, we focus on using verb 1. We did or did not. Okay. What about verb 3? Verb 3 is not used in simple past tense. Okay. Let me give you the formula over here. The verb formula. The positive one. Subject plus verb 2 plus object plus adverb. Let's say I read magazine last night. I read magazine last night. I is the subject and I read is verb 2. We cannot say I read magazine last night. No, that's wrong because the correct one is I read magazine last night. And another example might be we have to use decide. I decide or I decided. The, yeah, the correct one is I decided. I decided to study at UNSI at that time. Or let's say I start. I decided to study at UNSI last. Oh. I say six years ago. Six years ago. So we focus on using verb two for the positive statement. But for the negative statement, we have another formula which is okay, negative. Subject plus did not plus verb 1 plus object. Okay, let's see the first sentence. I read magazine last night. So the negative sentence must be I did not read magazine last night. I didn't read magazine last night. So we have to add did and not and change the verb from verb 2 from read to verb 1 read okay the second the second uh, example of simple past tense by using the negative uh, the negative sentence is okay the positive one i decided is to study at least six years ago so the negative one is just focus on uh, the formula I did not or I didn't. I didn't decide it become design. I did not decide. I didn't decide to study at the three last uh, six years ago. Isn't it easy? And the last one is interrogative sentence. We start with did plus subject plus Verb one plus object blah blah blah. Okay. Did I read? Did I read magazine last night? Did I decide to study at least six years ago? So when we use did or didn't, we have to use verb one. But if we do not use did or didn't, especially for the positive statement, we have to use verb 2. You 
you know what I mean? Okay, that's it for my explanation about simple past tense. I hope you understand that and see you in the next episode. Bye. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. See you.